Thank you, Alice, and thank you all for your attendance today and for supporting the Heritage Society and this exciting event. It's truly a pleasure and my honor to introduce to you a dear friend and our Houston Heritage Award recipient for this year. For her 37 years of service to the organization in a variety of roles, Evelyn started with the Heritage Society in the docent department. And if any of you have seen the docent training manual that Evelyn wrote, you'll appreciate the amount of work that went into her very first project for the organization. The writing and teaching that and managing those volunteers who we count on to deliver Houston's history. Some people have likened that to running a college course or even a college campus, given the campus that we're on. From that beginning, Evelyn worked on countless committees and projects at the organization leading up to term as president of the board of directors from 2011 to 2016. She's truly the embodiment of our commitment to the continuity of our mission. And I think that's why if you spend any time around the park or at any of our board or committee meetings, you're bound to have heard someone say, let's see what Evelyn thinks. I know I've thought that many times, and she's always been gracious to receive a call and discuss whatever issue that we're dealing with. So just very quickly, I'd like to point out a few of the highlights of Evelyn's career with the Heritage Society and some of the important projects she worked on. Beginning in 1986 with the opening of the Museum Gallery, 1988, the moving restoration and opening of the Stadi House and Gardens. 1991, establishment of the Endowment Fund, which I'm happy to say is still active and healthy. 1992, the installation of the Nye House Fountain in the San Houston Park. 1994, moving restoration and opening of the Yates House. 95, construction and dedication of the Connolly Plaza and the USS Houston Monument. 1997, restoration of the bandstand in the park. Going to 2002, the moving restoration and opening of Fort Worth Cottage, our most recent structure addition to the park. 2003, relocation and reopening of Old Place. 2005, the raising of the Pelot House, 14 feet to save it from further flooding from Buffalo Bayou. That's a project near and dear to my heart, the first time I was able to work with that one. In 2008, helping develop a master plan for San Houston Park. In 2011, the restoration and opening of the Baker Family Playhouse. And in 2023, Ellen continues to actively serve, and more importantly, to lead the organization by her experience and her example. She reminds us all of our values, and she inspires us to continue to volunteer our time, our skills, and our talents. And thanks to the magic of Zoom, she's been able to participate in all of the board meetings. So, participating even remotely, wherever and forever would be our hope. 
We love you, Evelyn. We thank you, and we say congratulations.